Welcome back to our channel, friends, nutrition educationalist. Today's video, we are going to see how can you upload your file of data and analyze those data in the WTO control software. So, as usual and as you know, your file must be Excel file. The first thing you have to know that the file immediately can't be uploaded into your W2 and your file first has to be changed in the form that it can be uploaded or imported in W2 and software. Let's first start to see how can you how can we change our file in the form that can be imported? To make it easy, save your file in your desktop. Our file in our desktop, desktop is called the software village. Let's open it. Our Excel file, as you see, is that is having the data of people at least 3148 people let's scroll it up and you see how it's headed you see here there is the height you see here there is intake date you see here this date there is here Data. Beef, you see here there is weight, you see here there is height, you see here there is edema, age in mouth, mid upper arms, come on, friends. So, what is next is to change our file in the form that can be imported in WHO and to pick servers. Let's save us. Our file in desktop where it is easy to find it. You see, our file is still called the software village. Let's wait to change it. So, come here. You have to change the Excel workbook in the other name. Click here and select where the tab delimited is. Our tab delimited is here. Then click, then save, then OK. OK. Let's get back. As you are seeing in our screen, our file has change it how it was looking like you see here it was like that and now you see how it is so if you didn't change your file egg of excel in that form it will not be imported in your data and let's open our app go to nutrition survey Go to nutrition survey, go to import file, go to desktop where we have saved our file, see our file. Here, to make it possible, you have to close our Excel sheet. It can't be imported while the here is opening cross back let's go back nutrition survey import file our file is here 
open. As you see, our screen it is in our file. We have height. It might be match it with ID here. If you have household in title, have to be matched household here. If you have sex, sex is matching with sex here. Date of birth is matching with here. We have here you have to match with the age. In our table we have the age in the math. Here wait, wait, wait. Edema to edema. If you, there is other major you have to put here. If there you have mentioned the head circumference, you have to match with here and the other variables. And if you have named the the crust, you have to put here. If there is team, you have to put here. And here this app it can help you to perform cluster analysis. For example, if you have the data uh, in certain district and you need to know where there is the prevalence of problem, for instance, if it is stunting, wasting, and you can perform cluster analysis to get a result. Click OK. You see here, uh, file Gasovo VH was successfully imported. OK. And you see how our data result comes in our app. You see how the every individual was analyzed here. Wait for height, height for age, wait for age, mid upper arms come fresh and etc. And here you can see. So I'm going to continue by showing you how can you generate the data in Excel, which we analyzed together. You see here, you can get anthropometry report Excel. Before I go to here, let's tackle here. Here you can read unwanted data, selected data, and here you can add other data, and here you can generate a result on chart. You see how our chart helps. And here you can change the variable. See how it is. So let's continue. How can you generate the anthropometric report in Excel as? our purpose in our approach. Click here. Do you want to perform cluster analysis? Here. You are going to click no because in our file we didn't fill in cluster place. And if you have filled there and you want to perform cluster analysis, you may click yes. In our video, no. Click OK. OK. And here, you are looking how our data result in Excel comes. You see every variables was analyzed independently. 
Here you see percentage is less than minus free standard deviation. See here the age, the number, how it is. You see here there is 95% confidence interval level. And if you are a care health provider and you are the one who is supposed to analyze the data, I suspect you know it is easy to get the meaning of those data. And you can scroll down and as you are seeing, this will help you to get the result in this way by using this app. And if you want to present those data and you may present them because here you see the summary. Let's get back. show you other thing as here here you can set your graph to original dimension and here you can copy your graph image to clipboard and here you can print your group your graph so I'm not going to spend much time by showing you other things you can perform in this app. You may just open this app and try to enter in every part and see its function and it can help you. If there is any problem you have in using this app, you may load, light your comment under this video and we are here to help you. This is our channel called Nutrition Educationalist. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.